Okay, good evening everyone. This is Joe Hinches with Beyond the Chart. And today is uh, this Tuesday, December 10th. So we're going to do a market preview, review, and preview for tomorrow. Uh, we'll take a look at the markets real quick here and then move on to the three stocks that of the 38 I'm currently following, the three stocks that were down the most today since the market was down. And the Dow was down 52.4 points. And... Um, Let's see. We actually, to me, this looks like we had this first initial move down from the 29th. We've had a little bit of a pullback, and we could very easily be rolling back over here. Now, we, we're not closing. Let's see, the 10-day, 15.971. Now, we didn't close below the 10 days, so we'll just have to see whether or not that, that continues to happen or not. Um, other than that, not a whole lot to say about it. It hasn't changed a ton in the last two days. Uh, so let's take a look at the S&P 500. Uh, again, about the same. We're continuing to get the divergences. That hasn't changed. Um, this pulled back more than the Dow, and it hasn't pulled down as much as the Dow did. So let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Uh, NASDAQ, similar thing. NASDAQ yesterday actually pushed to a higher high than it did back here on the 29th, which is interesting. Uh, but we do have, let's take a look at a couple of the indicators. We are getting divergence on the RSI with that move. And the DI plus, same thing. You know, you, we were getting this diver this bigger divergence, and we're getting a smaller divergence in here on that move. So it's, um, let me look at the volume back, and the volume is about the same. So anyway, that's not a whole lot. We're, we're getting some pretty small moves in here on the NASDAQ. Um, but which tells me also that it's struggling to push forward. Uh, let's see the New York composite. We're continuing again. I'm putting a, a line in here on the blue, which is the, the DI plus, which is the buying side of the move. We're continuing to get this um, downward trend here, which is uh, the opposite here. So we're continuing to get that divergence on the New York Composite. I like to look at the New York Composite because it's a broader index. Okay, It's of, the, of all the stocks on the New York Stock Exchange. So you get a much better sense. We still got this wedge. We've broken down out of it. We pulled back. And now we're just we're kind of struggling right in here. Very small daily ranges. Very tight. Um, let's see. I want to take a look at the short-term trading index. Uh, you know, we got below the uh, 0.9 back over in here uh, as a, you know, kind of like a leading indicator to the move. We've pulled back down a little bit. We had a low uh, close on this thing was, what's the reading here, 0.56. Uh, not an extreme reading that I like to see. I mean, if we're, you know, a lot of times when you get this reading uh, 0.47, you know, 0.47, uh, a point four nine, you get a reading below 0 0.5, and many times that day is the top. But um, you know, anyway, not a whole lot of new news that it's, it's kind of telling us here. So we just we like to check in with it, see what's going on. Let's take a look at the uh, VIX. The VIX, uh, this had pulled back on Friday, so the yesterday pulled back a little bit more. Rallied back today, kind of went to a higher high on the VIX. And, of course, that's because of the selling. So the VIX is a little bit of an inter inverse move with the, with the market, right? Uh, it's kind of the fear index. So as the market goes down, the VIX has a tendency to go higher. It's a measure of volatility on the options on the Chicago Board of Options Exchange, uh, CBOE. So that's what we're looking at here. It'll be interesting to see. I am expecting a further pop uh, and a resumption, uh, as I mentioned before, because we have not rallied to even some of the minimum rally points that we got before. Now, it doesn't mean anything. I mean, we, it does, there's no guarantee is what I'm trying to say. So, um, okay. So now I want to, you know, that's a, kind of a quick snapshot on the market. What I want to do is take a look at the um, uh, three stocks, uh, Mosaic, uh, it's what's amazing today is that of the 38 stocks I follow, the market's down 52 points, and only eight out of 38 stocks were down. 30 out of 38 were up. 
Uh, so the three stocks that were down the most percentage-wise were Mosaic, Apache, and uh, Hewlett Packard. So we're going to take a look at a Mosaic. It's clearly started to rent. We really thought we had an ascending triangle in here, thought this thing was turning. We had this big gap, thought it could be an easy fill, get back up here, but no, it only got halfway into the fill. So it's it's really interesting that, you know, you never know what the market's going to give you because you would think that this would just be a no-brainer, a lot of space, it would make the move, but uh, it, it didn't. So you just have to go with what the market's, what the stock's telling you. And now it's rolled back over and we've got the 10 below the 20 and it's rounding over, pulling back down. Now, w would you just automatically sell in here? No, I would look to wait for a rally back up, maybe a close or a, a move above the, the 10, assuming they start to continue to go down. Kind of, I don't know, uh, back up in here, kind of a pull back to the 10 once you're starting to get it. Um, you know, you, you can look back and see, but that's the that's what I'm looking for. I, I like to look for some type of a pullback on the move. And you can t see that it's broken this major trend line. Okay, one, two, three, four, four, a little over a four month upward trend line has just been broken. I uh, could just pull back down partially to test the low here. It could test the low all the way down here. We just have to watch it and see what happens. But um, that's Mosaic, and uh, let's take the second one is Apache. I'm going to go to Apache real quick. We'll save Hewlett Packard for the, for the last. Now, Apache's kind of interesting because I really thought that Apache was doing this big, like a, a shoulder, a head, a shoulder, and that we had a, you know, a neckline in here that you could draw, um, you know, something like this. You know, really thought that's what was happening, but I'm starting to wonder now. OK, I'm starting to. And here's why, because it, I'm getting a lot of choppiness. And then we got the reason I got this line here. I'm going to color this red. This is divergence. We've got divergence in here that's occurring with the indicators. OK, and so that's, you know, was a negative. And we're now getting um, this pulling back down. We've got the 10 crossing below the 20. Again, this is the kind of thing where you, you know, might wait for a rally up to to have a, uh, a better entry. Uh, to go short uh, on something like this. And what you don't know, it's just hard to tell what's going on. It could very simply be, you know, you see how you get this uh, A, B, C type move in here? This could be very similar, an A, B, C type move. Uh, so we could be doing nothing but a correction. Uh, or we could be doing a bigger head and shoulders. I mean, there's always, you see how it ran into this resistance, this top right here? OK, that's exactly where it turned around. You could have a huge shoulder, a huge head and another shoulder forming. But again, these are just, you know, it's just guesses. You just start to kind of say, OK, what are the possibilities? And then watch to see what develops. So uh, that's my quick take on Apache. Uh, and let's go to Hewlett Packard. Hewlett Packard, again, I talked about this. I think there's some divergence, you know, strong divergence in here. I think I said on the weekend that this looked like you could, you know, go short with puts, have a stop above this point on a close above this high. So far, that would work. Uh, we'll like to see if this starts to roll over and breaks on down. So um, that's it on Hewlett Packard. Those were the three biggest movers, and they didn't move a whole lot today. So it's kind of, kind of a weird dynamic in the market today. But uh, we'll see what happens in the uh, next couple of days. Tomorrow, I'm going to talk about China stocks. Uh, again, kind of the uh, Chinese takeout for Wednesday night. And um, that's about it for the market. Hey, look down below at this uh, uh, little uh, note I've got floating there. Grab my free ebook. Uh, you click on it, it'll take you to the, uh, the welcome page and, and grab my free ebook and uh, sign up for email updates. And, uh, and don't forget to subscribe on YouTube also. So thanks for stopping by. This has been Joe for Beyond the Chart. Have a great Wednesday. Talk to you soon.